plumbing apprenticeship. Have you thought about the future that you can have and not have to go to college? I'm going to talk to you about becoming a helper or becoming an apprentice and explain to you the difference in why you would want to do one or the other. Now, the cool thing about it is, look, I came up open shop, so I came up as a helper, but I also taught in the union, so I taught apprentices how to become plumbers, pipe fitters, and welders. So I know a little bit about both sides of it. Now, if you're not sure what kind of plumber you want to be, you need to go over to my free mini course. Go to the top right corner of my YouTube page, click on the link to Plum Study. I've got a free mini course where I actually ask you questions and help you figure out what kind of plumber you want to be. Do you want to do residential? Do you want to do commercial? Do you want to do new construction? Do you want to do service? And do you want to be union or do you want to be non-union? Okay, so first of all, when you are an open shop apprentice, really you're called a helper. They don't call them apprentices and I don't know why, but that's just kind of the way that it was done back when I came up through the trades. When you come in as a helper, there's good things about that. Now, some of the neat things are, number one, you're open shop. You don't have the union rules and regulations and a lot of things that you have to do. Open shop, you literally, you go to work for a small plumbing company like I own right now. I own a small residential plumbing company, Texas Green Plumbing in Richardson, Texas. I hire helpers. Now, I call them apprentices because I'm training them to do things the right way. Think about that. If you go to work for an open shop company, chances are you're only going to be as good as the plumbers that you work with. Not all plumbers have a formal education. Not all plumbers are trained in the right way. But don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great plumbers out there. I was in the union for 25 years. Two of the best plumbers that I ever worked for are two of the first plumbers that I ever worked with, and I learned so much from them. I learned how to do things the right way every single day consistently, and that really is a big deal. But remember, if you're open shop, you can also get stuck in the rut of working with bad plumbers. There's a lot of them out there, guys. And if you're stuck working with a bad plumber all the time, you know what? you're going to learn bad plumbing habits. Now, there are some open shop companies that have a training program. They may be part of PHCC. Now, PHCC is great. They've got a good training program for plumbers, and it's almost like the apprenticeship training program to where you go through, you've got formal education, you've got training, you learn to do things that a lot of open shop plumbers may not learn to do just from working with a plumber. So what are the cons about being a helper working open shop? Well, you may not be with good plumbers. And let me tell you, that can affect you the rest of your career. If all you learn are bad ways to do things, it's kind of hard to break those habits. And no formal training means you don't have a book to go back to and check and say, hey, you know, this isn't the way they're saying do it. You're saying just hold up two fittings and pull a tape measure between them and you'll get it right. Where in the book, it may tell you there's a formula measure to center to center multiply times 1.414 and that's going to give you your distance. Now subtract your makeup. Now I know that sounds kind of complicated. It's really not. It's the offset formula for a 45 degree angle. You learn things like that in formal training and believe it or not when I was open shop that's something that I never knew. So there were a lot of things that I learned once I got into a formal training situation later that really did help me. So one of the biggest cons about coming up as a helper or an apprentice for an open shop company is you may get stuck with some bad plumbers. Now, I know some apprentices, helpers that I've talked to that literally they're the best plumber at their company. And that's pretty scary when you think about everything that they're learning. They're learning from plumbers that are not as good as them or they're having to call friends or former plumbers that they worked with to learn the right way to do things. Now, let's talk about the apprenticeship. Joining a local. Now, I was a member of the United Association, Plumbers, Pipe Fitters. Now, we were a combination local, so here in Dallas, we had plumbers, pipe fitters, welders, and HVAC techs in our training program. The plumbers, pipe fitters, and welders all kind of went through one program, the HVAC techs through another. But the neat thing about it is the first two years, literally, you're learning plumbing and pipe fitting and even an entry-level welding. Now, the cool thing about that is that gives you opportunity. Maybe you come in as a plumber and decide later, look, I'm a pretty good welder and you want to do that. It's a great thing to do. The cool thing about coming in as an apprentice, going through the apprenticeship program, is you have formal training. You have school two nights a week the entire time college is going on. And some training programs do things a little bit different. They may just come in one day a week. They may come in on the weekends, different things. But where I taught, we taught the apprentices two nights a week. 
So each apprentice had to come to school either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, two nights a week, every week, while public school or college was going on. Now, what are the benefits to that? Not only the formal education, but being part of the union, you do have other benefits. You have health insurance that's paid for you by the union. You also have a retirement, a pension plan, and a 401k. So there are some benefits to it going through the union training program, but there's also some cons to it, some things that you need to think about. When you're going through the apprentice training program, you really don't have any choice as to what job you go on. Meaning you show up at the apprentice training center, you sign up, you fill out your paperwork, they tell you what company you're going to work for, they tell you what job you're going to, so really you don't have much say so. Now don't get me wrong, you don't have a lot of say so open shop either. They're going to say, hey, we're building an apartment complex over here, we're building a house over here, or a company like me, we're residential service. So literally, we work all around the Metroplex. We send people out to people's houses to take care of their normal everyday problems. That's something that the Plum Study course, the free mini course that I talked about, is gonna help you figure out what kind of plumber do you wanna be. That really is good to know because I ask questions in there based on my history from working on all different aspects of it. I ask you questions to help you figure out what kind of plumber you may wanna be. Do you like to fix things or do you like to build things? that can be a big deal. Do you like being on the same job, maybe for years at a time, or do you like being on multiple jobs in a day? There's a lot of different ways to look at it and a lot of questions you can get answered right there to help make sure that when you do get into the trades, you're already a step ahead because you know what kind of plumber you wanna be. So another thing that I talked about a while ago being part of the union, you get that formal education. And that can really be a big deal because you can learn a lot of things but also being part of the union, you can take construction management courses through the UA and learn to be a better foreman, superintendent, or project manager. So what are the bad parts about it? Well, I talked about the no job choice. Also, you're gonna have to go to school for five years. Now, I talked about going to school two nights a week while school's going on. So if you have children, or if you have friends that are in college, while they're in school, you're gonna be in school. So what this means is during the day, you're gonna work eight hours a day. You're gonna work 40 hours a week. You may even be on a job that works overtime, but they will let you off in time to go to school every day because it is required that you go to school two nights a week each week. The semesters are about 16 weeks long, so you'll go through the semester, you'll get everything done, and that way you get promoted to the next year. It's really neat because it is a very formal education. Things are broken up. You may learn soldering and brazing. You may learn blueprint reading. You may learn science. You may learn math. And don't let the math scare you. Plumbing math really isn't that hard. They can teach you how to figure it out and it's not that big a deal. Don't let the math scare you. So look, let me recap this. If you like doing residential, open shop may be the best thing for you. If you like doing commercial, union may be the best thing for you. Take that mini course. Let me ask you the questions to let you think about it and make the best decision for you. And it really is funny because most plumbers that I talked to didn't know what kind of plumber they wanted to be when they got in. So this is something that can help set you apart right now and point you in the right direction. Now, there's great things about both. As a helper, you don't have to go to school. As a helper, you get to learn from the plumbers that you work with every day. There is no formal training unless you're involved with a company that hopefully does PHCC and you can get some formal education. Now there are companies like me that really believe in training their apprentices. On the union side, you get the formal education. The cons are you've got to go to school two nights a week for five years, but you're going to learn a lot from it. If you've been through a training program already, whether it's PHCC or the United Association, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think the pros and the cons are for you or other people. I hope you enjoyed this and if you're interested in it, go check out the link and we'll put it down below to Plum Study. Go check out the free mini course, find out what kind of plumber you may want to be. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.